Yesterday was the 27th anniversary of Jacob Wetterling's abduction. Last month, Danny Heinrich confessed to kidnapping and murdering Jacob. Yesterday, thousands of people turned out for a charity 5K run to raise money for the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center, which was founded by the Wetterling family to promote child safety. Joining us from the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center is Jane Straub, a Victims Assistance Specialist. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Let me uh, ask you, I guess, the reaction to, to the really devastating news from the past six weeks now sure. has resulted in an incredible outpouring at the center. Tell us about that. We have been overwhelmed with calls coming in two different ways. We've been overwhelmed with support from the community. We actually had to bring in extra people to go through our Facebook messages. The first couple of weeks we were receiving support from all over the country and actually all around the world. People supporting us and sending their love to the Wetterlings. And then we've also had an uptick of people who found out what happened to Jacob and also found out what happened to Jared and we're realizing that we can support them as well. So we've had victims calling and, and looking for support and help. All right. And, and the calls for with some people have been very generous financially as well. Yes. Okay. Tell us though about those that are calling in because apparently you're getting actually a lot of men calling seeking help and what kinds of help can you provide? We are. We are receiving calls. I, I think people when they heard what again happened to Jacob and to Jared we had a lot of men that were harmed when they were younger and we know it's very hard for people who have been abused to disclose um, but they found that this is a safe place and I can call and I can tell someone my story and as an advocate our job is to listen and support and to help people in their journey to healing but the first step is for people to be able to disclose and tell their story. And we want to let people know that we do have a link to your website so where yes. people can go and you have not just you know, people can call but also you have advice. Uh, we do. Right there. And one of the things I think a lot of parents struggle with these days is, is the issue of online luring of children. Right. What advice do you have and what can people find on your website? We have a lot of advice for online. We want parents to have conversations with children. We want them to do safety nights where they talk about all kinds of safety. So riding bikes and bike helmets and what do you do when you call 911 and then these are the rules that we have for internet and these are the rules that we have for talking to people and we want it to be a conversation that happens over time not just this one conversation but for kids to to realize that there may be some things that they find online that scare them or make them uncomfortable and no matter what as parents they can come to us and they can talk to us about it. Right. And I know Patty Wetterling has said, you know, back in 1989 they didn't even have a fax machine. They thought right. it was a miracle to get that donation. So much has changed with law enforcement, but also what the predators are doing is changing as well. I know that you address that on your website. Right. So we used to have, you know, we were worried for kids out in the community, but now unfortunately people have access to our kids in their bedrooms and that's really scary. So we do, we want kids to be aware of, you know, certain behaviors and if anyone ever says something or does something that makes you feel uncomfortable, that they can come and talk to adults. And we talk about kids having a safety net of five. We want kids to have five adults that they can go to if, if they need help. And the reason we like five is because some of those adults may not have the skills or, you know, what those kids need. And then unfortunately we know for kids um, many times they tend to be harmed by someone that they know right. and so if it is one of their five safety net people that are harming them they have four other people that they can go to. Right. And it sounds because of the financial generosity you're actually going to be able to hire more staff. We are. So we are hiring another person to, to help us do advocacy and help us with volunteers and we're so excited the agency is, is moving forward. We know that Jacob was found and Jacob is home but we still have so much work to do and we are going to be out there working not only to prevent crimes against children and things happening but also to support all those people that need help. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Again, we have your contact information on our website about all the things that the center can do for people and families as well as victims. Thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you.